went to University of Central Florida and I became a software engineer there. And uh, I got to the business world and I created a very successful company. And uh, what happened was that I was getting so busy with um, you know, my, uh, the business world and kind of like losing track of um, like what, what was my real reasoning, that why, why was I going to school and what was my real mission. So um, I started to really get involved in my, in my business world and all of a sudden I started to realize that uh, I would get severe heart palpitations. So I would be sitting here in a meeting and all of a sudden my heartbeat would uh, jump to like 200 beats a minute and it would get to a point that I would feel like, uh, like very uneasy, I couldn't concentrate, I couldn't focus and I would have to find a place to sit down, catch my breath and I kind of like work myself until my heart rhythm would come back to, uh, to normal. So this started to become very, very uncomfortable for me because like, I could be having a presentation like this and right in the middle, I would have to excuse myself and leave the room just to sit somewhere to be able to uh, you know, get my breath back and be able to actually like, think clearly. So I went to my regular doctor and I wanted to understand what's happening with me. And um, as soon as I told him about this story, he uh, hooked me up to an EKG machine and uh, they told me that I have an abnormal EKG that the way that my heart was beating was not the same as anybody else. And uh, they rushed me to a cardiologist and uh, they did a few hours of testings on me. They uh, shot me out with dyes. I was running on a treadmill and they were monitoring how blood is going through my system. After two hours of testings, they had a meeting with me and uh, they told me that I have to put a pacemaker. And uh, this was about 10 years ago. At the time, uh, I, was, I was a semi-professional soccer player uh, semi-professional wakeboarder, so I was a very, very athletic person. And uh, I was doing this on a purpose because I didn't want to deal with uh, what my family had dealt with. And I thought that if I'm really active and I keep a really you know, strong cardiovascular system, then maybe I could cheat life and uh, you know, all these issues wouldn't come to me. But after doing all that, it still appeared. So uh, after having conversation with the doctor, they told me that uh, if I don't do this surgery, uh, this is something very serious and uh, something like as, as soon as maybe a couple of weeks from that day, they told me that my heart would just stop beating. And um, this was like, kind of like a very strange situation for me because, you know, I'm like, okay, so what would have happened if I didn't go to my doctor? Would I be dead in a few weeks from now? And it just like, didn't really make sense to me. So um, I started to ask him some questions about if there's a natural way that I can go about doing this to heal my own system. And they told me that no, there's no way we, have an, uh, we don't have any data or record of anybody that uh, was able to like, take their palpitations and then remove that um, unhealthy HRV in their system. So I wanted to, you know, I wanted to always test everything. Having a, a scientific background and you know, working through genetics, I believe that there is something that we can do that um, you know, we don't know, we don't have all the answers. So I started to do a lot of research. I shut down my company overnight and uh, I started to travel the world. So I would go to all different types of uh, webinars, I would go to all different types of seminars, and uh, I would meet with the top scientists, uh, the scientists and top doctors of our time. And I just wanted to collect information. I wanted to understand, okay, like, who are the top people and what are they saying about how we can bring healing to ourselves? And the more and more I, uh, I traveled and I researched, the more and more I had hope because every place I would go to, I would meet amazing people like you guys, and uh, there were so many people working on themselves, and they all had some sort of a message for me that, oh, I did this, and I did that, and I, I healed myself from this issue. All right, you know, they told me this, and I work on a specific things. so it was a lot of uh, energies, a lot of reconfirmations that, that there's other, many other people out there that are going, and they're taking their own wellness in their own hands and trying to, uh, you know, go through that journey of healing. So. In one of my uh, travels, I ended up in uh, St. Petersburg, Russia. And uh, this was uh, because I was doing a lot of research uh, in order to understand that when I'm working on myself in a holistic way, how is that really influencing my energy in real time? Because uh, like all the seminars I was going to, kind of like how we're here today, um, there's a lot of people that would introduce me to a lot of different modalities or uh, frequency products. And um, I was learning how to meditate. I was learning um, how to like, um, use sound as a healing modality. But I just, uh, it was kind of like I was blind. And I didn't really have a way to see, OK, if I'm sitting here and I'm meditating and I'm working on my chakras, like, am I doing it the right way? Or am I just like, sitting here wasting my time hoping that uh, by breathing and um, you know, having more, being more relaxed that I'm healing myself? So that wasn't enough for my scientific mind. 
And being a software engineer, we're trained to have very analytical thinking. So I was, re I was in research. I wanted to find a, a technology or something out there uh, that was available that could actually educate us on uh, if you're doing a, a certain thing, like how does, how does that change happens to our uh, um, energetic body or energetic field. So I ended up in Russia on, uh, on one of my uh, uh, research trips, and I met Dr. Konstantin Karatkov. And he was the inventor of this technology that um, um, it was being said that is monitoring the flow of energy in the human body. And the way I got introduced to this was uh, just an accident. I was on YouTube and uh, doing research on how we can uh, be in charge of our energy bodies. And um, if there's any technology that's available to us uh, that we can use this technology in real time to see, okay, if I'm sitting there meditating or doing a own meditation, like what is it really happening to my energetic field? So after researching and figuring out like what is the technology, I wanted to really get in touch with that company and that's why I ended up in Russia uh, to meet with Dr. Konstantin Koratka. And uh, once I met him, I mean, this person was like, a, you could see light emitting from his body. I mean, such and such an amazing person and like such a just, you know, full-hearted person that um, I, I told him, I told him about my story. I was like, you know, this is what's happening with my life. Doctors gave me two weeks to live. Um, I'm here, I'm trying to understand like, uh, you know, what can I do to bring healing to myself? So he had, um, he had a technology there, it was a camera system. And he told me that uh, they have scientifically worked on this system and uh, you know, for 25 years of medical research in Russia, that uh, he told me that they have created this system that actually can uh, tell me in real time that if I'm doing some sort of a meditation or if I'm just like holding a product in my hand, how is that gonna influence my overall energy? So I, I was sold, I was like, okay, I really wanna understand this, this is what I need. And um, I figured out that in order to get access to this technology, I'd have to go to Russia and meet him. So I went through the whole process. And uh, over there, he educated me on it. I purchased uh, one of his uh, camera systems, and I came back to the States. So then that just become, became kind of like a game for me. I'll wake up in the morning, and uh, I will do a video. I'll put it on Instagram, and I'll be like, hey, guys, I'm just you know, getting up, looking at my chakras, see how they are. And then I would, uh, based on the information that I had gathered through all the, um, the seminars I've gone to and all the research that I had done, then I would sit there and with the information that I would get from the system, I would meditate, I would work on myself, I would use different essential oils, I would use different crystals. I mean, I went to, to the extremes. I would use uh, magnets, I would use frequency from Rife. So, but I just wanted to like test. I wanted to be, I wanted to be my own scientist and see, okay, what resonates with me because the more and more I would do research, I realized that healing is very personal, that two people are not the same. And if you really truly wanna to get to the bottom of what's going on with us, we have to really understand us. So that was one of my mission, to go back and to study myself as a child, to see what was going on with me. Why, why do I have a, a different maybe perspective on life that is adding to the issues that I have and is causing the, the palpitations or the issues that I have with my heart? So the more and more that I use the system and then the more and more I would share my information and um, I would just, it was a fun game for me. Within six months, I realized I don't have applications anymore. And it's seven years later now that uh, I have been working with this technology and uh, they invited me to become uh, one of their major educators and uh, I'm one of their global uh, distributors now for this technology. So the science behind this technology, I wanna quickly go over and talk about Kirlian photography. So Kirlian photography uh, was a science that came around in 1970s, and uh, it was completely based on accident. There was a Kirlian couple um, that uh, they would go to hospitals and they would work on uh, our high voltage equipment. And one day they realized that when uh, they put one of their tools, kind of like how we can see this, uh, uh, this quarter here, that they realized that there is a gas discharge uh, that appeared um, on, around one of their tools as soon as they put it uh, on one of these um, high voltage equipments. So they found this as a very phenomenal experience and they wanted to research to see, okay, what else can we uh, get this kind of an energy from? So they started to test all different types of uh, products. Like um, this is like a half an apple that uh, if we cut an apple in half and we put it on a, uh, one of these, uh, they call it the Kirlian photography machines that this is the gas discharge that we can visualize around the parameter of an apple. 
And have you guys ever heard of, they say an apple away, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? So it's like when we're consuming an apple, there's all this amazing energy that's being inputted to our system. And the areas that are, we're lacking some energy, then there's some beautiful energy can come and it can replenish the energies in those areas and um, help us to become wholesome. So what became really fascinating was that they created these uh, curly and photography machines and there were many people around the world um, that purchased these technologies and they would take different images. So once they started to take pictures of their fingertips, and what became really fascinating was that um, the people that were, that were healthier, they would show this gas discharge around their fingers uninterrupted. But people that were diagnosed with different types of illnesses and uh, they had issues in their system, once they would scan them, they would show that some of this uh, light is completely missing out of their energy field. Do you see how these are like missing black spots? And then these are like the energy is just perfectly going around. So they wanted to understand what that means. So they did 25 years of uh, medical research in Russia with a medical team to be able to understand, okay, what does it mean if on the left hand, if we have uh, some of the energy, for example, on the left quadrant that's missing. And that was the research. They did this with uh, a group of scientists and they created the global database. So now in the past, uh, people would have to be like a doctors of uh, biophotonics uh, to be able to understand the patterns of the gas discharge uh, that are appearing around different fingers. But now after the research that they did, they were able to create this database that anybody can take an image and then compare their image to their database and get real-time analysis. So that became super cool. And uh, they started to uh, create the BioWell system that will uh, send a very small electrical impulse to the tip of the fingers and then draws information out of the acupuncture points and meridian pathways. And then it takes that information and it puts it in a graphical way that shows like the biofield around the body. Now we study this energy, the light blue color that goes around the body, that's the energy of health and wellness. So now, as long as this energy is uninterrupted and is fully intact, that becomes like a shield around us that protects us from our uh, external environment. But as soon as this breaks, then a lot of misinformation and misalignment can easily get into our system and create a lot of damages within our system. So they also created a way for us to analyze the chakras. And um, the chakras, um, because this is a scientific device that they use, and some people don't like to use chakras, especially if they're in the medical field. Um, so we have different names that we can uh, change these to. They can either be a nervous center or we call them a chakra. So the chakras will uh, help us to kind of like understand what emotions uh, we're dealing with. This is our uh, emotional wellness. So the issues and the emotions that we deal with, they will directly influence uh, the movement of these energy centers and the size of them. So if you notice in this picture, the size are, they're pretty universal, but once it gets to the third eye, then the size becomes a little bit smaller. So that shows us how much energy the system is uh, allocating to different areas within the body. Now just a show of hands, how many people are understanding the, the word chakra? Okay, that's a pretty good number. For some of you guys that are not very familiar, in a very basic terms, so we are in this room right now and we have power here, right? So there is a power company in Miami that's generating this power. So the power company that's generating the power are these chakras. Now imagine the state of Florida, and the state of Florida has many different power companies, right? So these are the different power companies within the state. Now we also have um, power lines that take the power from the power companies and brings it to our homes and our businesses, right? So those are known as the meridians. So chakras generate power, meridians take the power, and they distribute it to different systems and organs. So now, if, let's say if you don't have power here, what could be the reason? We can call the power company, we're like, hey, is there power, is there, are you guys okay? If they're good, then they check their power lines. Maybe there was a storm or something and like one of the lines came down. So that's pretty much what we're doing here. Because our own energy system, our body, is equipped with an energetic system. And the chakras 
or the points that are generating power. So then if there's an issue, for example, in the kidney or in the liver, then we can go and investigate to see, okay, where is the proximity of that system and what energy center is responsible for that? Now, if these energy centers are activated and they have a, like a nice size and they're within the alignment, then we know that the power uh, production is healthy. But now, if these guys were smaller and there's like, you know, misaligned, then there's a lot of emotions that are associated with them. So for example, our third eye, this is a center for our intuition. And this is a center for imagination. So if, you know, if you're having some issues um, regarding that energy center, then maybe like, you know, we, have, uh, like we don't have dreams at night or uh, we have a hard time like, uh, imagining things. And those are some emotions that will give us uh, some ideas of, for example, what centers are not really activated the right way. And one other way that's very easy to, uh, to understand is by paying attention to our favorite colors. So our favorite colors are usually the frequencies that we're missing in our own system. That's why we become attracted to something. So when you go in the closet in the morning to take your clothes to wear it, subconsciously, we're so smart that we know exactly what frequency we need and we pick that color and we put it on. Now, I deal with a lot of clients that come to me, I scan them and I have a conversation with them, especially for women. The first thing I pay attention to is their nail color. The color of a nail of a woman will tell you so much about that person because it's really related to the emotions that they're experiencing. So this is like a cheat sheet for you guys if you're dealing with ladies, okay? <laughs> now going a little bit more uh, as far as the other information that's being shared here, um, this is uh, the energy a scan analysis uh, um, window of the, of the screen that gives us information about our uh, physical stress. So the chakras, they give us more information about our emotional stress. If you're more aligned, then uh, emotionally we're balanced. But if there's like, yeah, they're all over the place and they're like ping, ping pong, then that means that there's a lot of uh, like, yeah, emotions that are not resonating with the higher self of that person. And one thing that becomes really powerful is that look at these colors here. If we go back and you look at these colors, isn't that the same colors as a rainbow? And what is a rainbow? Rainbow is white light that gets refracted to its composing rays, right? So now do you know how in a lot of ancient uh, philosophies, religions, they tell us we have a light body? So this is the light that resides within each and every one of us. And this is that wholeness that they talk about that is within me, you, every single one of us. So now the issues that we have, it's really getting away from that wholeness within ourselves. So usually the emotions that are not residing with that higher self within us, those cause into issues for us uh, throughout our lives. So that's something that's uh, really awesome about chakras. Now, one more thing about this software is that it actually generates you a, a custom meditation music file based on the alignment of these chakras and the information that we're picking up in the system. Because music is a way that we can transfer information. So by listening to that frequency, it's like we're inputting that information into our energetic bodies. So we also talk about the autonomic nervous system and, and the viable system that shows us like, what is the dominance of uh, sympathetic or parasympathetic um, on a person. And that, that can give us a, a lot of awesome information about how to deal with them. We also get to see the, on the left and the right hemispheres of, uh, of the system and how much energy is moving through the, the left side and the right side. And that usually gives us um, a lot of information about coherence. So now there's a lot of talk about how coherence is everything and how we need to have coherence in our mind and our thoughts and our lives. So the more information that's being uh, passed through the system and the more close they are to each other, then that becomes uh, that coherence that we're looking for. So having the right amount of energy on the right side and on the left side, that adds into uh, having a very nice uh, energetic balance. So now in this tab, we're talking about the, the energy in motion. So when we scan somebody, we can actually see, okay, in real time, in this specific moment, how much energy are their different systems using? So I compare this to, um, as a, like a simple example, if you look at your phone, 
And if you go to your battery settings on your phone, you see a bunch of different apps, and then it gives you a percentage of how much of the battery of your phone they're using. So this kind of like becomes for us, becomes that for us. These are all the apps that are running in the system, and these are the percentage of the total energy or the battery that they're using, okay? So now we can go to the next system, and this talks about our overall energy comparison to the energy that's actually being used currently. So the red mark here, that's the, that's the potential energy. That's a reserved energy in our system. And if you talk about the, the cell phone example again, you know, at nights our charge is running low, we plug it in, and in the morning when we wake up, it's at 100% charge, right? So that's how we're adding energy into our phones. Now, we are the same way. When we sleep at night and we get eight hours of sleep, when we wake up in the morning, all of our systems are charged, okay? But now there becomes a, a research of understanding, okay, if somebody's sleeping at night and they're waking up in the morning, they should have a lot of energy. But the areas that we see that um, these two are touching, that means that all the energy that was reserved for that system, like for example, this is the jaws and the teeth on the right side of this person. That means that in that specific area, all the energy that's been uh, produced for that system, now it's been used. And uh, if you have too many points like that, then that's a sign of like severe fatigue in the system. Because after a while, like halfway through the day, we are losing so much energy that we'll have to take a nap in order to replenish our energies. So that's how we can get some information about that on the bio as well. And uh, this tab, it gives us a lot of information about our autonomic nervous system. So this way we get to see um, the ones that have a greener side that is uh, higher than the blue side that means that uh, there's more of a sympathetic dominance in those systems. So, and the goal here is to have them all balanced. Uh, when they're all grayed out and balanced and close to each other, that's when a person is in like a complete state of coherence. So usually after meditation, we see that all of these go away and become uh, pretty blank. We also talk about the, the organs and systems energy in this system. So when we're studying the biofield, the biofield is more um, the data or the information that hasn't really been manifested into the physiological system. So based on the research and the study that we have done, it usually takes about six months to a year of the information or misinformation that's in the field for it to actually manifest into the physiological system. So now in this tab, we're talking more about the manifestation of that issue into the physiological system. So now here, we, we will have like different readings here in comparison to the, the energy field reading that we looked at the, on the first tab. So that's a lot of amazing information that we can see. And we also talk about the meridian pathways. So in here, all the 12 different mer meridians are listed and everything is color coded. So anything that has a green color, that means that those are optimal and that there's a right amount of energy that's passing through those systems. Uh, but if, for example, they get like a yellow color here, then that means that the energy or the function in that system is increased. And then we all, of course, want to pay attention to this to see, okay, for example, if somebody just ate something, then that's normal for their like, energy of liver to be increased for a, a little bit of time. But if you're rescanning this person over and over, let's say within a week or a month, and every time we see that there's a pattern, that the energy there is, is a high, then we start to pay attention to that so that the person doesn't have to go until they have uh, actually manifestation of that issue into their physiological system. And the last step we talk about is the biorhythms in the system. This is one of my favorites, um, which talks about how when we are born, it's like the day that we're born, all the different planets that are in alignment with Earth, it's like all of those energies are put into creating us. So whenever we are in our high biorhythms, which is, this is a zero point here, anytime throughout the month, and everybody's, um, everybody's data is calculated based on date of birth, and that uh, we can even go two years ahead of time to see where is our physical cycles, emotional cycles, and intellectual cycles. And this becomes really powerful for biohackers, for like, powerful entrepreneurs, that they wanna be really on top of their schedule. So for example, uh, for an entrepreneur, if they want to have a meeting, then they want to be, have that meeting when they're in the top of their intellectual cycle. Because now they're thinking clearly, they can really come up with a lot of ideas. 
So then we can look at this graph and see, okay, what is the day during that, that month that we're at the highest peak of our intellectual cycle? So then that way, this kind of like becomes like a cheat sheet to life. So a lot of oriental cultures, they live their life um, by this method. And they only travel, they make business decisions where they're in their higher realm of their biorhythms. And we're in the lower route part of it, they become homebodies. So they don't make any really hard decisions. They um, you know, take maybe vacations. They don't do anything that could put them in danger. And this is really, really powerful information that whenever we have all three cycles crossing at one point, then we have a lot of hard data of people getting divorced, they're getting car accidents, they get fired from their jobs. So like severe things happen to people on those specific days. And I think the last slide I have here for you is about stress scan. So we can use the BioWell system because it's uh, tapping into our energy body. We can use it to see, okay, how does something influence our body before even consuming it? So let's say we have a like, bunch of supplements or essential oils, and we want to see like, which one of these products we should use. So all we have to do, we can just do a baseline scan of our, our two ring fingers, and the reason for that is because they're connected to our uh, endocrine system and nervous system. So once we get a baseline scan, it will show us exactly where's our stress and how much energy we have in the system. And then you can just hold like an essential oil in your hand and then you do another stress scan. And immediately it will show you if your stress is gonna increase and if your energy is gonna increase. And if that happens, then that means that that product is really good for you. So now using this method, and this is one of the methods I use for myself to understand what's causing my palpitations. And every time I will hold on to a Coke bottle or coffee, I'll have my stress level go like crazy. So just by taking those out of my diet, I got over my palpitations. So this is my presentation for you guys. So I am a global educator and distributor for this technology now. So if any of you guys is interested in uh, bringing this to your practice, um, I can definitely help you with that. And uh, we offer a certification uh, training process that you can become a certified practitioner uh, with BioWell. Um, to use this in a business setting. And BioWell is partners with Gaia TV. So for you guys that are familiar with the Gaia channel, uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza, Greg Braden, all these guys use this technology and uh, they educate people on the Gaia network. So once you become a BioWell certified practitioner, then you, you pretty much make Gaia TV your marketing channel. Because everybody that watches that video or the, the shows about BioWell, they're directed to BioWell.com and then they go and search for practitioners in their area. So I was one of the first people in Orlando that got listed as a certified practitioner, and uh, it was immensely powerful for me. I, mean, I work with so many different manufacturers now. I work with thousands of different type of uh, holistic healers. So it kind of like really takes you and jumpstarts you in, the, in your he healing career if that's your field. All right, guys, if there's no more questions, thank you so much. Oh, I got one more here. Sorry, premature. <laughs> so the, the AI that's within the program, it will study, um, there's a lot of different uh, criteria that, that the system will study in order to create that sound file. And one of the criteria that we have once we look at the chakras and the way that they're, uh, they're misaligned, like when we're looking at the, when we talked about the rainbow, right? So in a rainbow, we know the exact, like the pure frequencies of different vibrations, which are their colors, right? So that's, that's a known math that we know already what is the aligned frequency of a specific energy center, okay? But now once, the, once we scan somebody and they're, let's say, off balance a little bit, then the software will track that and will know what is the counter frequency to create so that when that person, lis that person listens to it, it helps to break those uh, blockages and brings them more back into balance. So that's why it's a very sophisticated algorithm that goes through to, uh, to create that sound file and it's very powerful. Did you do it before or after a scan yesterday with uh, music? It helped a lot, right? Yeah, so she tested our system yesterday. Yeah, I remember, I think once we scanned you, your chakras were more on the left side of the body. And then we listened, you listened to the music file and they kind of like came more back into the, to the center. 
And that's how exactly we work. Because you know, we can calculate what is the percentage of difference from, the, from that specific frequency. And then by creating the counter frequency, I mean, we don't need AI to do that. You can use like a singing bowl to uh, create something like that. Or by understanding the frequencies of essential oils or crystals, then uh, you can use uh, all different types of natural modalities to, uh, to bring balance to the system. Yes? Uh, the cycle, is that part of the package? Is it a two-year span of you know, the cycles of your, your The biorhythms? Yes. Yes, that is a part of the package. That has nothing to do with biophotonics, but we just find it very fascinating to be able to have that kind of a heads up, and we have a lot of hard data behind it. So we just love sharing that with people. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate your attention. It's uh, great to be here with you. Thank you.